Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from structures and the problem states a 12 by 96 column has a radius of gyration of 3.09 inches along the weak axis and 5.43 inches along the strong axis. With the following properties given below, find the elastic Euler buckling load of the column. So it's asking for the Euler buckling load. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find that. And in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, CIRM, equation 45.7 in the addition that I'm using covers the Euler formula. I guess some people call it Euler. I'm going to call it Euler. Heard it both ways. So um, what is it? It basically equals, they have it listed as Fe equals pi squared Ea divided by, they don't have a K in there in the addition that I have, but it should be KL over R squared. And K is this um, coefficient right here. It's the restraint coefficient. And depending on the value, it depends on what your connection is. So one is actually like a pin-pin connection. And you can read more about these K values and, and look those up actually in um, uh, table 45.1 if you want to know more about those. Okay, so let's go through this. We know what pi squared is. E is the modulus elasticity of steel. That's given. Area is given of the steel. K is given, L is the unbraced length, that's given as 12 feet, we need it in inches, so that's 144 inches, and R is the tricky part here, we were given R along the strong axis and weak axis, so if you remember, you've got some sort of beam, or uh, you've got a W 12 by 96, you've got the X axis running through it, and a Y axis, the strong axis is about the x-axis. It's harder to bend about the x-axis. And the y-axis is the weak axis. So um, let's look at that. So what's going to be used in this formula is the weakest. You could write r weakest. Whatever the weakest one is, that's what we want to put in there. So let's just plug it in. We got pi squared times e, which is 29, times 10 to the 6th inches squared times the area which is 28.2 inches squared and that's all divided by k was 1 times l which we're going to use 144 inches divide that by r and the weakest value was given up here as uh, 3.09 inches 3.09 inches so basically you would have an rx and an ry and the Rx should be the bigger one, 5.43, and Ry is the 3.09. Okay, I'm taking Ry as the weak axis. Okay, don't mess that up. And what are we doing here? All this is squared. So let's get a number for that, punch it all in. I get this big number of 3716540. Point one three, or we can say that's thirty seven seventeen kips. The answer to this looks like B. So I hope that helped you out. This goes over the Euler formula, and that will help you to determine the strength of that column to make sure it's uh, not going to buckle on you. So. Anyway, head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the B-Exam. Thanks, bye.